Well, we have gathered uh, what we consider uh, as good a combination of musicians as we possibly can in order to background the gentleman, I suppose, that most of us consider way up number one top man on alto sax, Charlie Parker. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> man, they've been waiting. We asked Bird about what he'd like to say. He says, man, I, I just don't talk because I want to play How High the Moon. So here it is.
Thank you, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And for the next tune, we would like to, to care for our request. For some very dear friends of mine here in Montreal, we'd like to give our rendition of Embraceable You. We sincerely hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. At this time, we would like to keep the show underway, underway by playing a tune, an oldie. Uh, this was done for the Savoy label. On the Savoy label, it was released, I think, about 1945. It was amongst the first that it was done on the Savoy, but down in New York. We sincerely hope you're, those of you that haven't heard this tune before will still like Now's the Time. Thank you. 
I guess that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Our outstanding jazz artist this evening on the show, a man that we're very proud to be able to bring to you people here in Canada, possibly the gentleman who's considered tops on alto saxophone, Mr. Charlie Parker. Charlie. Good to Good to see you, Bird. Good to be here. Fine. Could this be your uh, first trip to Canada? In many a year, yes. Many a year. Well, how would you like to kick off with something in a nice bouncy tempo to get us all warmed up? All right, I think first I'll take a tune that was recorded on a dial label, 1948, Cool Blues. Cool Blues, here it is. Let's go. <laughs> Save some of that applause because the next gentleman is also all the way up from New York City. Plays a fine tenor sax, Mr. Brew Moore. Brew, come on up here. Take a bow. <laughs> Just before Brew made his appearance, now I asked him what he'd like to play, and he said it's called Bernie's Tune. Maybe you'll recognize it. However, it goes something like this: Bernie's Tune, gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you. 
Theater Saxophone Artistry of Rue Moore, ladies and gentlemen. We promised you another appearance by Charlie Parker. Come on up here, Charlie, with that horn of yours. We seem to have got ourselves into the habit, Charlie, of, in, of asking our artists uh, to introduce their own selections. How about it? What are you going to do for a second one tonight? Well, I think for a second one, we'll try another one of the dial labels released about 40, 48, 1948, that is. Let's try uh, Don't Blame Me. <laughs> say we keep Charlie Parker on stage, bring back for a final ensemble selection, Mr. Brew Moore on tenor sax. Brew, grab your horn, come on back up here. And uh, I think if we, now we have everybody assembled, we might kick loose with a tune that seems to be a favorite with jazz musicians, a little ditty called Perdido. Here it is. <laughs> Thank you. 
because of the gentle strains of Perdido, we must unfortunately bring this particular program to a close. I think we created a small bit of musical history tonight here in Montreal with featured work by Brew Moore, Charlie Parker, Buzzy Blay, Neil Michaud, you see Dick Garcia, and Ted Pastured on drums.